Hello YouTubers, I got two exactly same setup. This one have STM32 black pill, two buttons, one potentiometer, one display and one LoRa module. This one going to send text to this one. This one can transmit text to this one. It's like a walkie texty. Let's try to send hello from here to there. Change this one to H. Enter and we got H there and E. Enter and then two L's. Enter, enter and one O. Enter. I got hello transmitted. Let's transmit by from here to there. Let's enter B. Enter and Y. Enter and E. And it has uh, now by transmitted here to there. You can transmit space bar using the space bar is here. And then you can transmit the signs and the numbers and like this. And you can delete it like this. You can use a blue pill instead of the black pill. It's the same wiring diagram, same wiring connection, same code. Only the difference is the, the OLED display, it has a different library. Otherwise, same. I choose this one because this board is too small to fit all those things. That's the only reason I choose this one. This is the LoRa module I'm using. I'll give the details in the description website. Also, the code I'm using is very minimum. For simplicity, you can add more functionality to it. The wiring diagram is here. All the grounds are connected like this. The VCC 3.3 volt connected like this. Here, here and the here and this side pin, this side pin. This one connected to A3. This one connected to A1. Middle pin connected to A2. SDA connected to B7, SCL connected to B6, this pin connected to A10, finally this pin connected to A9. I have partially completed the circuit to save some time. I got a two button and potentiometer a display and the LoRa module. I only connected the ground and VCC to all of them. The VCC 3.3 volt rail here, ground rail is here. This is blue is A1, green A2, orange A3. This orange A9, this blue A10, this is B6, this is B7. So we take this orange and we put it here. And we take this blue and we put it here. Take this green and put it here. Take this yellow and we put it here. Take this white and uh, that goes here. Blue goes here. It's lastly, the orange goes here. That's all the wiring. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. The part number here, we put uh, for blue pill, we can put F103C8. That this one. Now I am using blue black pill so I can delete this one. I put F401CC. So this one, I select this one and click next. I give a name, I give Laura, click finish.
click system core click sys for the debug select serial wire click analog click adc1 into pitic configuration parameter setting we make it bigger continuous conversion mode make sure it's enabled pin pa1 we make it gpio exit1 and pin pa3 gpio exti3 now we click nvic and we make it bigger we tick these two line 1 and line 3 this one and this one we tick and we select gpio and select pa1 and for the pull out pull up pull down we change it to pull down same thing for pa3 pull down now click connectivity click use at one and mode asynchronous in configuration parameter setting board rate we change it to 9600 9600 that's the board rate the default board rate for the lora module and we select the nvic setting for usart and for the global interrupt we tick now we click i2c1 for i2c i2c configuration parameter setting for the speed mode we make it fast mode that's all the setting we can click save in the description below i have provided a website link there i provided the code when we go there there is some information about the lora module and where to buy this module and the data sheet go below the diagram is here the picture is here the q by d setting is here you already done for the OLED display we need to put the library these two file it's same it's same for all the different type of blue pill black pill everything this is for the blue pill these two are for the black pill so i am using black pill i'm using i'm going to use this two if you use blue pill use this two so i'm going to use this two file these two file all together four files these two file need to go into core inc folder this is core src folder i do one and then i fast forward for all other three so for this one click fonts.h and click control and a that's control and c for copy here when you come to come back to q by d expand core expand inc right click inc new file in this area type f o n t s dot h and finish in this area and control v to paste and then we can save we can close the same way we need to put the other file here and next two file in here i fast forward the video i do it quickly and go back Make sure fonts h for ssd h is here fonts c ssd c in here now we go there we can go back now all done now the for the code I, we can copy and paste to save time user code begin include we need to put these two libraries 
these two lines. Copy it. The main dot c file. You paste this one in the includes. Use a code begin pv. We can copy and paste these variables. These are some variable to use. Your user code begin pv is here. We paste it. And then user code begin to. We copy and paste these two lines. And in the while loop, copy from HL ADC until HL delay. Copy this and the same place in the while loop is here. We paste it. Finally, user code begin for there are some callback function. We copy from the void until until here, including the brackets. Copy it. User code begin for is all the way down. It's here. We paste it. And we can save now. What is happening is when we come to user code begin to, it initializes the display and then it receives the UR data by interrupt one character at a time. And then in the while loop, start the ADC, pull for conversion and get the read value from the ADC and then stop the ADC. The read value will be 0 to 4095. So I use this calculation to change it from CHAR value from 32 to 95. This will convert to 32 to 95. Those are the ASCII character. When you go to ASCII character table, that's ASCII table is here in my website. 32, we start from 32 from space and these symbols and number 0 to 9 and the big letter A to Z and this one small letter we, I didn't include for simplicity. So when we rotate the potentiometer start from space until Z we can we can get. So that's a char value and then we put in the display here and the Rx buffer and the data buffer and the single character. And then a small delay and do it again and again. Now for the enter button and the delete button is in the user code begin for. This is for the enter button. This is for the delete button. In the enter button, it put the data into the buffer and then it transmit. And the delete button, it take off one character and then transmit it and then clear the data. Uh, screen. Now for the UART receiver is here. If the RX data is 13 and it put into the buffer. If it is not 13, it put in the buffer. If it is 13, it clears, clears it. And then every time it restart the uh, interrupt data. So we can save the code. It's already saved. Now we can place the code using the green button. And just click the debugger. We don't need to do anything. We can straight away click OK to upload the code. If it doesn't work, if, if you get any error with the colon boards, you change this to open OCD. I just leave it as it is and I click OK. It's all done. Now what we do is we remove the ST link and then we connect the other uh, module, other STM32. It's a, I connected. Now we click the green button again to 
place the code for the other module. All done. I have uploaded the code. Let's try one more time. Enter, enter, enter. Change it, enter. Change it, enter. Now, when we type it here, we get the letter and also we get here and it transmits. And when we type it there, it transmits back. One more thing I'll show in the website when we go all the way down. There's an optional advanced setup. We can use the RF setting software. You can download from here and set the key and frequency to make it more secure. I have made a separate video. It's available here and I also put it here. You can see if you want. Thank you very much. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.